Hi, I'm here in Crested Butte with my dog and incredible views. Mount Crested Butte is right up there. And as I swing around to my right, you'll see the little town of Crested Butte over the condos there and this other beautiful mountain range. For this edition of the Adventure Journal News, I thought I would respond to a question from a student of mine asking what I carry uh, when I'm art journaling or hiking or just trying to basically capture a moment. Uh, this is a small 4x6 drawing pad made by Strathmore. The paper is pretty good. So if I'm going uh, hiking where I want to be really light and portable, I'll take something like this that will fit into my backpack easily. And I bring a mechanical pencil and then a micron pencil, a pen. The microns that I like to use have the thinner tip, the smaller tip, and that's the 005. I only carry one, again, because I'm, I'm trying to keep the, um, you know, the amount of stuff that I take with me to a minimum if I'm hiking, but I have a backup pencil just in case. So that's the bare minimum for having an adventure out and about. This is my art journal I'm currently working in. It's made by Aquabee. And my first um, sort of capture the moment that I did here in Crested Butte was to uh, uh, download or print out this picture and then do this little watercolor. And this was done with the simplest of materials. First of all, this is a Winsor Newton watercolor set that I've had for about 20 years. I've had to um, uh, add in some paint where I've used up what came in the set, uh, but that's not a problem. It's, it's easy to take a tube of watercolor paint fill the pan and then leave this open for a couple days until that totally dries. Then you just reactivate the color with water. So I've had this trusty friend for many, many years. I'm exploring a slightly different product uh, because I'm gonna be taking students to Spain in October and I wanted to see about changing up my color palette a little bit. So I've been exploring this product. This is just a tin made by Meaden, and I'll show you the name in just a second. You buy the tin and you buy these palettes, these are called half pans, excuse me, and they come without any color in them, they just come empty. So you get to get into your stash of watercolor tubes and fill them with whatever colors you want. Then I made this little chart here attached onto the tin uh, cover with some double stick tape. And this chart shows what the colors are going to look like. It's a little hard to know that that's a violet or purple when I'm just glancing at the whole set because it's so dark. But I look at my chart here and I know that that middle one is going to give me that violet color. So I like to work with the chart. And this is a great way to use up your uh, tubes of watercolor. Here's the information about where uh, the name of the item. I purchased it on Amazon, the empty watercolor tin that came with 12 half pans was around $12. I also bought some empty plastic um, pans and for 50 of them it's only about six bucks so you can't go wrong. Sometimes those pans, these little guys, move around so I put in some tack, some uh, gooey tack that uh, is made by a variety of companies to kind of hold these down a little bit and I've been really pleased with working with that set. In my travel pouch, and this goes in a small bag or when I'm traveling to Europe, that'll be in a backpack, I really carry the minimal amount of, of um, art supplies. I have found it just to be a lot easier to have fewer choices. Oh, this is a little bell. Um, someone gave it to me and I just love it and I like the sound. In Colorado, uh, we're advised to ring bells to keep the bears away from you. I don't think that'll work, but it's kind of fun to have. My go-to is, um, or to, to work with watercolors, are these Koi, K-O-I, Koi water chamber brushes. You fill them up with water. You don't need to carry extra water. I love working with those. And this is a mister I use to activate the watercolors. Here in Colorado, it's so darn dry that I have to use this frequently to keep the watercolors in the pans wet enough to work with. And a paper towel, of course, and then some other Micron pens. I carry a few of the same tip because they do dry out quickly. And then I love the Micron brush pen so that I can get my dark values. This bunch of materials that go in the pouch along with my um, pencil, that's it. I don't really carry anything else. My goal is to capture a moment. So even though we know that the watercolor paper 
um, makes a difference in terms of intensity of watercolors. For a travel journal, I love these Aqua Bees because the paper is decent enough to get the nice bright colors. This is a quick sketch I did with watercolor and then a little pen edition um, just to honor the moment that we actually had some rain here a few days ago. So um, these are my go-to travel items. If you want to be doing more collage work, then of course you can add in a glue stick and um, you know a whole bunch of other things into a travel journal kit. But for just capturing a moment in the simplest way possible, I really recommend just a good set of watercolor paints, some uh, water chamber brushes and pens, and you're good to go. For more information or to receive the Adventure Journal news, please go to my website, www.jcmammoth.net, and sign up for the Adventure Journal news. Happy journaling to you all. I wish you joy.